everyone. Let's go. Yeah! Thank you for coming to the second Caroline Tonight Show of the semester. Okay. Uh, just, just like, you know, show of claps. Who came to the first one? We have, so we have some mentally, we have some mentally ill people in the audience apparently. Why would you come back? Um, we have, we have a great show for you tonight. It is um, three sketches as usual. So um, if you were expecting four, um, just like walk out, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, without further ado, enjoy the show. Okay. Sudden. Anyone have any idea why we're here? Not a single clue. No. I'm just here for the free bid. Okay. Okay. Sorry I'm late, everybody. Thank you for coming here on such short notice. Um, do y'all know why you're here today? Oh, is it because I've been using the Slack to spam people with Among Us memes? No, um, but we do need to talk about that because that's hella stupid. Yeah, okay. <laughs> is it free food because we've all been such great employees? Um, no, because you haven't been. So. Is it me sending you that picture of a lemon with the caption, this is totally me to you? No. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Um, so then what are we here for then? Okay. So you know our mascot, Cocky. Oh, yeah. I love him. Lovely. Don't want to fuck that bird. I hope you don't want to fornicate with him too badly. Oh, I do. Um, because my superiors have informed me that we are getting rid of Kaki. What? Yeah, I know. It's, it's sad, isn't it? Um, but I'm serious. I'm serious. And, um, Kelly, why did you just send me that picture of that lemon? Oh, um, oh you know why. You know why. Okay. Um, anyways, we need to come up with a new mascot and quick. It can be, you know, as friendly as Kaki, as funny as cocky, as feathery as cocky, as sexy as cocky, I guess. Um, but we need to come up with something good. Any suggestions are appreciated. Uh, what do you guys think of a peanut mascot named Peeny? <laughs> a mascot named Peeny. Yeah. Okay, all suggestions are open except for that one. Anybody else? So hear me out, guys. What if we do a mascot team? Hmm, that sounds interesting. What do you mean by that? Well, we basically have two people, and when we combine them, it'll make one person. Mm -hmm. Oh, OK. Mm -hmm. Who would the characters be? So I was thinking for this one, we would do a lemon and a knife. So obviously, Matt would be the lemon, and I would okay. be the knife, because that's what okay. I'm going to do to him later okay. tonight. OK. <laughs> you know, <laughs> cutting that off. We've been over that shit. That's a threat, OK? Uh, Sarah, I don't care. Okay, um, moving on. Kelly, we're gonna nix your idea, and as a matter of fact, we're also gonna nix you. Um, <laughs> thanks for working here. Um, any other suggestions? How about a clown mascot? No. No, 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 no. No. But clowns are, we could scare the shit out of the other team, and like, clown girls, I mean. Um, <laughs> um, are there any other suggestions? Um, what about a bush light can? <laughs> can you be serious for one second? A bush light can? Like, I don't even think that's legal. I think they got that trademarked. Like, how is it any worse than anyone else's ideas? Um, clowns are sexier, though. <laughs> are you being serious? Are you actually telling me, like, this is serious? Are you a fucking dumbass? I cannot believe you. Oh my god. Listen. Okay. How is it any better than just a bush This argument is going nowhere. We need to come up with a mascot because if we don't, we're all getting fired. And by we, I mean you guys. Um, so I'm already fired, so I don't care. <laughs> um, we're just going to go with my idea. So hear me out. We have a mascot who's a hunter, and his name 
is gatherer. Okay. Uninspired, <laughs> boring. We can work with this one. Lazy. Okay, but just listen, because it's like a dude. He's dressed up as a dude, and he has a gun, and the gun actually works. So it's like, um, and we can just use the gun to like shoot like people in the audience, or <laughs> players, or like mascots, or like small children maybe. Oh, okay. small um, children. That's, that's going illegal. too far. Away. I love it. Yeah. I'm on board. Oh. Thank you. Kelly, you are unfired. <laughs> and the rest of you are un unfired. So you're fired. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. um, so get out before I shoot you like the mascot also. Oh, that's that's good. Good. Yeah. Um, well, thanks for backing me up, Kelly. Oh, sure thing, boss. Just know this totally isn't a ploy for me to kill you and take your job. Okay. Um, you know, on that note, it was nice seeing you, Kelly. You want to start now? No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> or anything other than going to the bathroom. Now let's take a look at the scoreboard. In first place, we have a young gravy coming in at negative $5,000. I you know how it is. All I do is chase dope and get money. Lovely, to, lovely phrase to go by. Second place, we have Olivia Wilde at negative $7,200. Oh my god, Steve. Can we just, can I just have like a fangirl moment right now? Can, can I shake your hand? It's Ethan. I'm, I'm just team. such a fan. I'm so happy to be here on Celebrity Family Feud. And I just want to tell everyone in the audience to see my new feature film, Don't Worry Darling, starring <laughs> Miss Flo and the world famous superstar Harry Styles. Just wanted to put that out there. All right. And in last place, coming in with an all time record of lowest score in Jeopardy history, we have Adam Levine at negative $690,000. <laughs> Truly inspiring work done here. Thank you so much, Alex. It means a lot to me. Um, I, I don't know how I could ever top this. This is one of the biggest accomplishments of my life. I too don't know what you could possibly do to top such a low blow. <laughs> now let's take a look at tonight's categories. We have popular TikTok sounds, <laughs> Letters in the word apple, all you have to do here is name one letter in the word apple. What sound does this animal make? Names of queens who are still alive. The key word here being still alive. And European history before 1794, but taking a look at the three of you, that is a category we won't be tackling. We'll start off with you, Young Gravy. Why don't you pick a category? <laughs> you already know which one I'm going to pick. <laughs> No, I don't know why you would make that assumption. Give me mills for 800. <laughs> that is not an alternative name for that category, so let's please refrain from calling it that for the rest of tonight. You're right, that's my beat. Just wanted to show some love for my favorite ladies. <laughs> respect, respect. Don't like that. For 800 points, name any queen who is still alive. Steve, who is Princess Diana? <laughs> no, I'm sorry, that is not a correct answer. Damn. Still alive. Uh, I got it. Uh, who is Summer Stro Sorry, sorry, my wife, my wife, my wife. I, I, my wife is a queen. I love her so much. I doubt to stay with her forever. Um, audience, do not quote me on that, though. Uh, just, just don't, you know, yeah. yeah. I have no idea who either of those people are, but that is not a correct answer. Damn. Who is Addison Ray's mom, Sherry? <laughs> In fact, shout out to all the moms out there. Shout out to all my queens for real. Yeah. I don't know why you'd be pointing at me while saying that. Um, <laughs> but no. Let's just move on to a new category. Adam, why don't you pick? Wait, 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 wait. It's nothing. It's nothing. I, I didn't do anything. I didn't DM anyone. Nothing's absurd. Please, I didn't do anything. <laughs> Just pick a category. Oh, oh, asking. sorry, sorry. Um, t popular TikTok sounds, 600. 
The name of this popular TikTok song by the Gregory Brothers has the lyrics, it's blank, a big lump of knob, it has the juice. Miss Wild, Steve, what is Watermelon Sugar by Harry Styles? <laughs> I'm sorry, that is not the correct artist or song. Again, the artist's name is in the question. Young Gravy. What is Gravy Train by me, Young Gravy? Do you not know the lyrics to your own song? <laughs> not really. Yeah, that explains a lot. There's a Maroon 5 song like this. It's like Misery, uh, Harder to Breathe, Beautiful Mistakes, Girls Like You. Any of those? No. Any do no? None of those. None yeah. of those are that song. Ugh. God, we gotta get better people up here. What was the budget for the show? I don't know, like nothing. <laughs> so, so much. So much. You know what? Let's just move on. Let's go to letters in the word apple. Again, apple, A P P L E. All you have to do is name one letter. Ms. Wild. Steve, what is five letters? <laughs> <laughs> not quite. I'm looking for a letter, not a number. Young Gravy. What is S? <laughs> it is a singular word. <laughs> there is no S. You know, Alex, can you give me European history before 1794 for 400? Why would you ever pick that category? <laughs> Why? Okay, final answer. What is two apples? <laughs> you know what? Let's just move on. Let's go to what noise does this animal make for 200? This animal usually makes the sound rough. <laughs> just how your mom likes it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got it. What is Madagascar hissing cockroaches? Why would that be your first guess? It's a good guess. What? No. Steve, I think I got this one. Um, I was like just with one the other day. There's an O in it, right? Like, You're getting there? She's like, she's just like such a bitch. Like I do not like her at all. Um, uh, she's gonna be real mad, but who is Florence Pugh? <laughs> the answer I was looking for was a Dog. Uh, a dog goes rough. Please tell me the three of you at least know that much. I didn't graduate elementary school. <laughs> <laughs> well, it shows. Uh, Thank goodness. That sound means it's time to move on to Final Jeopardy. Tonight's category is numbers. All you have to do here is write a number. It could be a small number or a big one. You could do one or two, maybe even two numbers put together. 25, 74. Just write a number. No. Instagram time. Instagram time. Instagram. Instagram. Get in for the gram. All right. All right. You too. Gram. All right. Great. Awesome. Audience. Audience. Gram. Gram. And write me a number. Let's go. Let's go. Write a number. We'll start off with you, Young Gravy. How are you feeling about your answer tonight? I'm feeling great, Colin. I've been really in my bag tonight, and I just feel like my score's gonna keep going up after you see my answer. Well, first of all, my name is not Colin. You've actually gotten no question right tonight. In fact, your score has only gone down. So this is trying times for the both of us. Let's take a look at what you wrote. And lovely, you wrote nothing. And you wagered my mother. <laughs> Original. Let's go. No. No. Let's take a look at what Olivia Wilde wrote. And you wrote the phrase, Harry did spit on Chris Pine. That hot movie was supposed to land on me. <laughs> and let's see what you wagered. A higher Rotten Tomato score. <laughs> Don't want to know what you wrote. Not in any universe. Let's, let's take a look. Okay. Wow, by golly gee. You did it. You actually wrote something that works. Adam, I'm very impressed. Thank you. You wrote two zeros. That works. Okay. And let's see what you wagered. Let me see the booty. Yeah! Yeah! Woo! yeah. All right, guys, all of you, join me in the bathroom. Celebration, come on. Yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Come Nothing on. weird in there. Oh, it's gonna get weird. <laughs> Never again. Good night, everybody. Okay. Um.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Arnold Palmer. I am, of course, your White House Press Secretary. Thank you for coming to today's White House Press Briefing. As you know, we're so glad to have you, and transparency with the media means a lot to us, so blah, 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 let's cut the shit. Um, things went kind of crazy last time, and I don't want them to go crazy again this time, so I'm gonna set a few ground rules first. Please listen closely. One. Stop asking me if we're going to war with Russia. Damn it. <laughs> it really kills the vibe. And the president said, if I answer another question about it, he's going to cut one of my fingers off. So, um, yeah. Number two, stop asking me if Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is DTF. God damn it. <laughs> Whatever that means, okay? I don't know, because you won't return my calls. Um, number three, um, the president did not have sexual relations with that woman. Oh, I told you! He was just sleeping in the nude, and it just so happens that the woman in question just came into the room, and she fell in such a manner, and her mouth was wide open, just so that, coincidentally, by chance, she gave him a blowjob. That happens. Um, that happens. So, on the Tuesday. Um, with that in mind, yes, that is our official statement on the question. Um, now. I got the plug coming by in about 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to open up the floor for questions. Oh, questions, okay. questions. Um, yeah, you aggressive looking lady. Yeah, hi. Do you need to slap you with the New York Post? Not the Times. They're a bunch of crossword playing assholes. The Post is what the real New Yorkers read. Okay, what's your question? Yeah, so lately there's been a lot of traffic from the 14th and the 7th all the way up into the 69th and the 420th, which means every time I'm trying to get my dog to my favorite halal food place, oh, shout out Abed, assalamu alaikum brother, I have to take the 1 to the L to the Q to the R to the L M N O P just to get the damn dog. So like, what are you guys going to do about that? Uh, okay, so um, that's like kind of a local matter we kind of do with national stuff here. So you're gonna to want to talk to someone like the mayor of New York for that. Oh God, no, I am not doing that. That's like asking me to stop calling people assholes whenever they say, but ma'am, that seat's for the disabled and the elderly. <laughs> Hell no. Wow, okay, next question, please. Next question, oh. next question. Oh. Um, yeah, you sword boy. Uh, hi, Everard St. Clair with uh, BuzzFeed News. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I just wanted to ask you uh, a question because I'm currently writing an article titled The War on Russia is Ramping Up and Here's Why We Literally Can't Even Write It. <laughs> and so uh, one of the questions I wanted to ask started with um, what are some things that Vladimir Putin is doing that are driving us all collectively insane? Wow. Um, I literally just said I'm not going to answer any more questions on that. Uh, my girlfriend said if I lose any more fingers, she's going to leave me. Um, uh, also, BuzzFeed News, the onion is more reputable than y'all. Okay. So, um, next question, next question, next question. Um, you. Hello. Jerry O'Crumpet with the BBC. Uh, who let the colonizer in here? <laughs> There's been a lot of conversation about US-UK relations, and the British people want to know, will you ever forgive us for Mexican week on the Great British Bake Off? No. No. Um, no. 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 Because, so my friend Tina's abuela saw that episode, and for a week afterwards, the only thing she said when she saw me was Diablo Blanco. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I think it's like Taiwanese. Oh. Um, so, yeah, we can't forgive you, sorry. Um, next question, next question. Yes. Yeah. Hi, Ashlyn White with Fox News. Oh. That's Ashlyn spelled A E S H L E I G H Y N N. That's it. Thank you. What are you planning to do to expand women's rights and gay rights in this country? Oh. Mm -hmm. And how are we planning to put an end uh, to that? Uh, there it is. There it is. Okay. What? Ms. White, I'm not. I'm not trying to participate in any of this yellow journalism that you're conducting Ooh. right now. Mr. Palmer, I'm not a big fan of anything yellow. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, okay. Right. I, you know, on that note, I think it's about time we um, wrap this thing up. So are there any final questions before I go and light one up? Yes, Mr. St. Clair. Take this quiz and you'll find out what animal you truly are. Oh, <laughs> that's so funny. Okay, great, great. Awesome, great. All right, question one. Pick any color. Black? Ooh. Oh. Brown? Ooh. I feel unsafe. Damn. Yellow? Ooh. Or white? Oh, white's an option. Choose that. Uh, okay, uh, white. Great. Yes. Uh, all right, second question. Pick a city to live in. 
Portland, Oregon, Columbia, South Carolina, yes. Detroit before any of the urban renewal projects, mm. or anywhere in Florida. Not one of those options is good. Ask the wife in Florida Um, You know what? Florida's good. We'll do Florida. Yeah, Florida. Great. Awesome. All right. Eliminate one out of these four options. Voter equality, marriage equality, racial equality, or beans on toast. Oh. Who wrote this <laughs> I did. Can I choose uh, three of the answers, please? I'm so sorry, Miss White, but you can only choose one. One, one option. That's it. That's all you get. Oh my God, this is so hard. Really? Is it really that hard? Yes. <laughs> it is a really difficult question. Thank you. Because beans on toast is one of the most delectable foods to ever exist. You know that you have to choose that one over the others. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll play the middle ground here. How about voter equality? Is that good? Yeah, yeah, voter, voter equality, yeah. great, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Voter equality. All right, all right. Now pick a hookup spot. Mm. A back alley, an abandoned supermarket, a cemetery, or, a su or the subway. Oh God, do not do it on the subway. I did it there once and a pack of rats stole my wallet. Because of those assholes, I had nothing to pay the broad afterwards. <laughs> Good heavens. Oh, don't go to heavens, me. You limeys can't even make a good taco. Okay, <laughs> just pick the cemetery. It's actually not that bad. Mr. Palmer, how could you disrespect the dead like that? Yeah, yeah. We respectfully had sex in the cemetery. And also, how could y'all side with the racist chick? Hey, pick you back. <laughs> let's, do, let's do cemetery. Cemetery, yep, all right, great. Now, finally, the, pick a profession. Cop, meter maid, tax collector, or ugh. White House Press Secretary. God. <laughs> That's, That's disgusting. Gross. That's disgusting. God. Uh, hi. Uh, we're going to do cop. Yeah, we're going to We're going to do cop. Um, oh, wow. All right. And your result is a cockroach. Oh. Uh, that's so great. It's just oh, that's awesome. amazing. This has been an awful second day on the job. <laughs> I hope I never have to see any of you again. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I'm walking here. All right, get out of my way.